people don't realize that. They look at these, the Royal Bank building and all these buildings. Oh, aren't they wonderful? They were built after the streetcar started. We had 400 streetcars at one time, not all at the same time, but over the 70 years, we had 400 streetcars. And by 1912, everything they had dreamed of had come true. It was a big place, lots of money, lots of activity going on. The streetcar system expanded out under the Winnipeg Electric Company, which uh, came into existence around 1924. The streetcar lines basically ran along the major roadways. Uh, well, I'd heard about the streetcar at the Winnipeg Railway Museum that I was there, but I, I kind of hadn't even been to the Railway Museum, so I just wanted to go see the trains and see what was there. And then at the, after I'd gone through the trains, I asked the gentleman there if I could see the streetcar. And so he took me to the back. It's a closed area where the work is supposed to be ongoing. And I saw it just sitting there uh, and heard the story about not a lot of funding and money and interest and trying to get the project going again. I, I saw a piece of Winnipeg's history sitting there that seemed very neglected. When I walked down the streetcar, you could see where the benches were. You could imagine the people riding them, where the conductor uh, stood. When you look at the old pictures, you see it moving up and down Winnipeg streets, and it just seems like such a different era. But it seems like a, a fascinating era to me. 